So what you're telling me is you slept with my best friend's girlfriend. So somebody's very good at keeping secrets. I'm the one you need. Let me know when you're home, yeah? I will. I'll speak to you later. Yeah. Okay. Where are my keys? Okay. okay, I've got everything. Oh my oyster cart. Where's my oyster cart? Please. God. Please help me resist the temptation to stay here today and give me the strength to leave here tonight, please. God knows I need it. Joe, how are you finding the new job? Yeah, it's all right. I mean, it's good. You know how it is. Not sure I do. Sure everything's all right? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, my head's been all over the place today. You sound like you need a bit of a pick-me-up. I'm heading to Bible study if you want to come. How do you manage to put Bible study and pick me up in the same sentence? I'm almost curious to find out, but I actually need to go see my dad tonight. It's the anniversary of my mum's passing today. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Let's talk later. Sure. Hey everyone, sorry I'm late. Oh. Hey. Hi. So guys, hey. this is Chris. Hey. He's an original at the shack, but he hasn't been able to be with us for the past few months due to a big project he's been commissioned to do. Do you want to tell everyone about it? No. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> Don't mind my friend Ashley, she's a bit more excited about this gig than I am. Okay, so since it seems to be a big secret, let's just say you'll be seeing it on the big screen really soon. Oh wow, are you an actor? Oh no. I work more behind the scenes. I work in animation. Mm, that's really cool. We've met before. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, Paul. Yeah, that's where it was. That was um, an interesting night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, right? You were dating Michelle at the time, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened, you two? We're good. We're really good. Yeah, yeah, no, it worked out, man. We've been dating about eight months now. <coughs> yeah, man. <coughs> you right? Hmm. <coughs> Yeah. Sure? Yeah. So you're, you're still together? Yeah, 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 we've been going good, we've been going good. Um, you know, I remember the advice you gave me. It really helped, man. Thank you. Oh, oh that's, uh, that's good. You know, I was really rooting for you and that girl, Gimberly. Really? Ruth doesn't seem to think so. You know how she is. She has worries about us. Yeah, it's just like mum. Yeah, she is. You know, I thought Kimberly and I would end up like you and mum by birth. Joseph, your mum and I were good together. But don't put those expectations on the girl you might end up with. I did that in the early days of our marriage. And it was really tough. I wasn't sure we were going to make it. 
But once I saw your mother, for whom she was, and who she really wanted to be, we fought a lot less. And our marriage became what you guys have saw. Less about the expectations and more about the acceptance. Making each other happy. You're both really good at that. Joe. Hey. Hey. Hey, Joe. Hey. How are you? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm all right. Tried calling you a couple of times. Yeah, sorry, I've been really busy with this new job. Okay. Dad, I'm gonna head off. Already? Mm -hmm. I just got here. Yeah, sorry. We'll just have to catch up another time. Okay. Bye, Dad. Bye, Joseph. Bye, Joe. Bye. Okay, so the next text we're going to look at is Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9 to 12. I'll read. So, two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help. But someone who falls alone is in real trouble. Likewise, two people laying close together can keep each other warm. But how can one be warm alone? A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three are even better, for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. I want to throw this text out to you guys. What's it saying? Um, it kind of reminds me of that text in Genesis that says that man is not meant to be alone, right? God has given us this desire from the beginning and we just want to be in relationships, not just romantic relationships, sometimes friendships, family ties, just a human connection in general. That was God's plan from the beginning. Yeah, and this text sounds good in theory, but I mean, you've got to have the right people around you. I mean, some people bring you down rather than build you up. It'd be better to be alone than around them. Yeah, you're right, but um, I don't believe the text was about, you know, people that don't care about you, it's about people that actually care about your well-being, mm -hmm. you know. I believe if you ask God for wisdom to know the right people that are in our lives, then he'll give it to us. I think we all need a support system, especially in those times when dealing with things like depression and heartbreak. Having people who are just there to listen and let us know where loved can go a long way, I've definitely experienced that. And at the core, God is so good because this is what he's asking of us, just to love one another. And to love him. Yes. <laughs> we need a whole separate Bible study just on love. You know, I had some pretty poor excuses for friends and I have to thank Fran for being there for me when I thought I had no one. It was definitely a blessing in disguise. Uh, I lost some friends, but I gained new ones and I'm definitely stronger. Why are you here? Is Kimberly okay? We need to talk. Kind of in the middle of something, so I don't have all day. I won't be long. I just wanted to make sure we were on the same page because I think some boundaries need to be set. Boundaries need to be set. Look, I know you and Kimberly have a past, but there's no reason for you both to keep in touch. I didn't appreciate your visit to our house a few weeks back, and now I find out she's been texting you. What do you both even have to talk about? I see. So you're insecure? No, I'm not the one who's insecure. Besides, what happened to you won't be happening to me. Are you seriously trying to piss me off? In my own house? Look, mate, get out. Joseph, I don't want there to be any animosity between us, but I need you to stay away from Kimberly. Why are you so scared of me? You're with her. I'm trying to move on with my life, but you have to come in with your controlling, manipulative and insecure ass telling me who I shouldn't talk to. In my own house! I just said what needed to be said. Don't be mad because you didn't take the proper precautions to keep her. You 
you need to leave now. So who was that? Oh. Have you been? Getting better. Mm -hmm. Just been trying to, you know, get by. Oh, sorry, one sec. It's Michelle. Oh, hey, Shells. How you doing? Hey, what do you mean? Michelle, slow down. No, no, no. Explain. What do you mean? Michelle, can you slow down and talk to me, please? We're not doing this over the phone. I'm going to come see you. Michelle. Uh, is she okay? What happened? I think she just broke up with me. Right or wrong, I'm trying to right my wrongs. And I I'm glad you came. Mm. Our last Netflix and chill session helped me so much. So it only makes sense that I did the same thing for you. No, no, no. I feel better just being here. Thank you. Well, I think you all do a better job at choosing the film than I did the last time. <laughs> I, um, what about, what about Hitched? It's great, but I've seen it a few times. Okay, all right, let's watch something we both haven't seen before. Uh, uh that one. Well, I've seen it. Of course. This? I've seen it, but it's not that great. What about Green Mile? Great movie. But incredibly depressing. Alright, I've got you. Um, what about a Kevin Hart movie? You can't go wrong with a Kevin Hart movie. Unfortunately, this is the one where things go wrong. Alright, I've got an idea. How about we scroll ten times and on the tenth scroll, whatever movie we land on, we're gonna watch. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Mm. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know what, yeah. Um, how about we just talk? Sure. Yeah. I saw. I saw Michelle. How did that go? She was surprisingly emotional. She said that she she just didn't feel the same way about me anymore. I'm sorry. You said the same thing? Chris, you're the bomb.com. You're such a sweet guy and you're funny and refreshingly honest. Believe me, any woman that gets you is beyond lucky. As long as she's not you. No, it doesn't matter. No, it does matter. I just didn't realise you felt so strongly. Well, maybe what you were saying about any woman would be happy to have me wasn't completely true. I meant what I said. I'm just scared to cross that line. Why? What is there to be scared of? Chris, I really value our friendship. I don't want to lose it. But you're looking at this the wrong way. You're not losing a friend. You're gaining a friend with... Don't you dare say friend with benefits. I know you too well. Look, I really do think we would be good together. And I think it's worth trying. That's the thing. I don't know if it is. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna go. Okay. I'm gonna speak to you soon. Wait, no, no, no. Don't go. It's supposed to be your healing. Yeah, and it's been really good. Thank you. So how are you doing? Good, but I'm a little bit confused and slightly disturbed about something. What is it? Michelle told me that you two... Can we... 
Can we not? Can we not talk about this? Look, I don't want the details, but she's my best friend, Joe. What were you thinking? Well, I wasn't thinking. That's how this all happened in the first place. Really? You have no self-control at all? Ruth, we're both consenting adults. Yeah, what happened between us is really none of your business. You knew how she felt about you. And she told me that you've barely spoken to her since. It's best I keep my distance. She even broke up with her boyfriend because of it. Boyfriend? I didn't even know she was seeing anyone at the minute. She never even mentioned him once. Yeah, she feels terrible about cheating on him. But you're acting like you don't care. I didn't think you were that guy, Joe. I care. I do. This is why I can't talk to her right now. I, I don't want to break her heart. She's already heartbroken, Joe. On the real, I respect that. So you know I'm about to take a step back. And that's your heart, so you don't never let your heart go. And I don't really want to see your heart broke. So, I want to make a toast to you three. So like Pastor said in his sermon today, you know, it's important to express your appreciation for the people in your life. So I want you guys to know how grateful I am. You know, I've not been the most present friend, being busy with the restaurant and all, but I love how you guys have been understanding and stood by me, really. Whether it was for like advice and knowledge or encouraging me, always being my cheerleader. <laughs> or lending a helping hand when I needed it. So, I just, oh, I'm gonna get all soppy. So, I just wanted you guys to know that I love you. Oh, I love you too, hon. Yeah, you know we always got your back. Oh, that was really soppy, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I have some good news. Okay. The restaurant is almost finished. Mm. Yeah. Oh. I will officially be opening in one month's time. Wow. Let's go. Yo. <laughs> We're proud of you, fam. That's that black girl magic there. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Han. No, it's only a matter of time. I knew you do it. Yeah. How are you? Fine. I'm happy you called. Yeah, I wanted to apologise for, for being distant. It's not fair, considering the length of time that we've known each other. You deserve better, and I'm sorry for that. Thanks. It's nice to hear. Michelle, you're beautiful. Inside and out. But I shouldn't have led you on. I appreciate your honesty, though. At least you said something. Finally. So guys, I know we said we'd never mention this again, like mm -hmm. ever, but when are you two just gonna get together? Ash. Really? Serious. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on. It's so obvious. Can you please just what? like do us all a favor and just, you know? What? What is, you know? What? What, what are we doing? Make it official. Officially what? We are officially right. friends. Right. You are not. You're officially more than friends. More than friends. Than friends. What do you mean? I don't You're think so. Yeah, I don't Listen, think you. there are so many people. Oh, exactly. You tried to hide it, but we saw it. This, this isn't no, even the first always. instance, yeah. I swear no. down. What's the first instance? Exactly. You guys don't even know. How many times have we clocked them? No, you know what we always say. You're hiding it, but you're not.